to draw the Venn diagram of the complement of A union B, you should probably draw yourself a Venn diagram for A and B overlapping in the first place. I'm going to give myself two circles. One of them is event A and one of them is event B. Now the union of these two is anything that's in either or both of them. So what I'm highlighting in yellow here is A. This is also A, so it counts. And this is B, so it also counts. That's what union means. It's either or both of them. So I'm even going to label this A union B. There we go. But what we want to do is take the complement of that. The complement is the exact opposite. What that means is everything that was filled in or shaded here is not shaded in the one below and vice versa. So the three sections that were shaded in A union B are now no longer shaded. And the area outside of the circles A and B, which was not shaded, gets shaded. So I'm just going to roughly do that. And I'm going to call this A union B, but I have reversed it. So I put the complement there. Cool. Oh, I wonder if anyone's going to call me on that. I used a U instead of union. There you go. You're not supposed to put that little thing on the U there. Cool. I like it. I like it. Now, I'm going to show you one other way to do this. You can actually distribute this knot through the brackets if you feel confident enough to do it. You have to knot A, you have to knot B, and you have to flip this sign, union becomes intersect. So uh, the complement of A union B is the same as knot A intersect knot B, which means you are shading only regions that are both, or rather, that um, that are both not in A and also not in B. Intersect requires both of these to be true. And so if something is in either A or B, it does not get shaded here. So this section in the middle is A, and so it does not count for not A. This is A, so it does not count for not A. And this is B, so it does not count for not B. All three of these sections violate the rules of it can't be in A and it can't be in B. The only area that actually isn't in either A or B is this outer area. Oh, look, it's the same as what we asked for originally, and it's the same as this diagram we came up with on our own. How you get there doesn't really bother me. What bothers me is whether or not you can draw it yourself, you know? All right. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.